Hi everyone, let's make food. Um, I'm bringing you food from my home. Um, the way that I make it, um, everyone does theirs a little bit differently, but this is what I do in my um, We'll start with the stuff that you'll need for this dish. Um, I usually use a big pot like this, or maybe even bigger. Um, I have a pretty big family, so we like to have it a few times. Um, just not one portion. Um, so I usually use a big pot. I've already pre-made my liquid. Um, but what I usually do is, so I use a big pot and then my meats that I use is usually a chuck of pot roast um, like this and then meatballs um, that you can usually find at the local Asian stores. Um, it's usually in the freezer section. Um, and then for my broth that I use, I use the soup base. Um, it comes with the package that you would put in your phone. Um, and then I also use this color. Depending upon the size that you want to make, um, if I'm doing a big pot like this, I usually use a whole packet of of the faux broth, the powder, and then I use half of the base with one of the packets. Um, the packets does come with in, in two packets. Um, should open. So it comes, or it wraps like this, and you just take it out, and it comes with two packets. Um, and I usually only use one of them. Um, it tears off, you can definitely tear it off. Um, and then what I just do is I leave it in the broth until you're done with the broth. Um, and this is how the base is going to look like as well. Um, so you, I, again, like I said, if I'm using a whole pot, I use half of the base and I use a bag of the pulp. Um, you usually don't measure anything. So it's all pretty much up to your, if you're tasting what you like. Um, and then what we also have is um, our noodles. So, usually when I'm cooking for my family, I buy a big bag of noodles. Um, they come in 5 pounds or 10 pounds. Um, otherwise, if you're only cooking for like one meal, you could do just one of these bags. Um, what you would need to do is you would need to soak this. I usually soak mine in hot water um, for probably about 10 minutes or so. Um, and then I usually don't boil my noodles in hot water. I like my noodles a little harder, um, but it's up to you on what your preference is. Because usually the broth is already boiling hot, um, so it, it makes it soft, and I don't like my noodles soggy. Um, and then let's soak our noodles so that we are ready to eat them a little bit. I usually just use tap, hot tap water, get it as hot as you can, and then I let it soak for probably about five, ten minutes or so. Um, depending on how hot it is. Make sure to sit back, keep an eye on it. Unless you like your noodles a little more soggy, you can definitely leave it in longer. Just gonna put this on the side. Um, and then all the other ingredients that I usually get. Um, everybody does 
put different things in their clothes. Um, I'll usually use oyster sauce, poison sauce, beef paste, chili oil, sriracha, and then I do have fish sauce, which I usually don't use. Um, but if you find that your broth is a little unsalted, you can definitely use the fish sauce. Um, and then what I also have is um, my veggie ingredients are green onions, cilantro, basil, bean sprouts, and lime. Um, you can usually find the Thai basil at the local Asian markets, um, as, as well as the bean sprouts. Um, but what I usually do is just dice them up and then you can garnish it with whatever you like. Um, and then I also have meat and the meatballs chopped up um, so that you can add whatever you like. Um, sometimes I do use shrimp um, and usually with my broth, I do make it with um, beef ribs but this time we did make it with the beef ribs. So it's just the pork, or the hot roast chunk and the meatballs. Um, and we'll wait for, turn up the temperature on this. And we can start putting our dish together. The prep time that it usually takes me is two hours um, for the broth. And then in between, while I'm waiting for the broth to cook, I will usually do wash all my ingredients and chop up all my ingredients and get everything together um, so that you're not sitting there and just waiting. Um, I also do put sugar and black pepper in my plate as well. Um, but again, it is up to everyone's tasting on what they So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up the noodles and twirls. Um Just remember that when you are putting, grabbing your noodles, it may not work a lot now, but it does poop up. Um, so just in case, grab what you can first. And like I said, it's best to have your water boiling um, so that it will help with the with, with, um, with making sure that your noodles soften. Here you go, your pho is done. And then all you have to do is just garnish it with whatever you would like into your pho. Like I said, everyone puts different things in their pho, but I usually use pretty much all the ingredients that are here, but enjoy.
Oh, I'm just wondering, is this the recipe that like your mom used, or is it something that you just kind of came up with as your own? It is just something that I came up with on okay. my own. Okay. Um, my mom has her own recipe, which she throws celery into the broth, and I don't like the taste of that. So I don't really throw a lot of stuff into my broth, um, only because I like just the beefy taste to it. There's many different types of fat out there, so like you could do a pork broth or a chicken broth, um, but I mainly do beef. I'm hoping that my kids will take my recipe on, but then again, they may not like mine, so. <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay, so.